good morning guys back at it again with another quick video today i have my delta 1300 again and i'm gonna see if i could use it to charge up my tesla right here so let's see how much um juice the tesla has in because i heard you could use this to charge your tesla all right guys let's see how much miles this has on it, it says uh 203 let's see if we could open the front all right that's where i keep that little pouch that has all the charging stuff in it all right this thing is the front license plate thing that i've yet to put on because in pennsylvania you don't really need the front license plate thing all these leaves on the inside all right so all the little charging things are in here so this is the one i need this is another adapter where you could use this at different charging stations so this is the one we need so we could plug this into the delta to start charging this baby so let's go to the back now all right come on all right so huh, what do we need to do this it goes there okay so we do need the adapter let's go grab that adapter Let's see. I have this adapter here. Let's see how this works. Huh. So. Okay, now I see. I think this plugs out of here. Hold on, guys. Let's just. So all they saw, all you have to did was plug this out. So now let's go ahead and plug this in the back right here. Okay, I gotta flip this up like so. Plug it in. And then let's make sure the delta is on. Alright, it says 99. So it always says 99 when I charge it even to 100%. It never says 100%. I guess it doesn't have three digits on here, it only has, you know two digits so we can't say 100% on screen I guess I don't know I'm just thinking that but anyway always says 99 when you charge it then you go to the back right here and you press this button to turn on the inverter I heard it kick on hear that beep so now you check this let me see if there's power in it oh yeah there's okay so that won't work has a red light it's beeping red so there you go guys there's a red light flashing on here because this doesn't have a ground in it so if it doesn't have a ground this is just a hole right here it's not a true ground in there this is a hole for the third pin to stick in this third pin right here is supposed to be grounded and if it doesn't detect a ground it won't tell the unit to start charging so yeah there's a way to bypass that but you can't just literally plug your cord into this I'm gonna try a different outlet okay see red again none of these outlets are grounded you plug it in a different one it's blinking it's red again so you can't just grab your delta plug it in and plug it into your tesla it's not made for that there's no ground in this hole right here it's just a hole to stick your thing in. that's a bit weird but yeah look in there you see it's just the hole it, there's no pins in there or anything so and that so that's why you can't just grab your delta 13 hundred and just start charging it so in the next video i'm gonna see how i could bypass that circuitry 
so I can make it think it has a ground and then we'll try to use the Delta 1300 to charge up this Tesla. All right guys, well this is it for now. Another short video trying out my Delta 1300 in different ways. See you in the next one.